What happened is that the uh, chairman of the tribunal apparently had seen the motion yesterday and you know apparently had taken a decision in chambers that he will not hear the application. He said that much in open court himself. When the motion was introduced by me, you heard him begin to question me. And um, of course, apparently, for some reason, he feels um, uncomfortable with that application. But my position simply is that he has no jurisdiction to imprison my application. And the idea that I was not a member of the uh, defense team has been debunked by the uh, counsel who are there before me, including the lead counsel, Mr. Kanu Agabi. So I am entitled to appear before this tribunal, and the tribunal is obliged to listen to me as counsel for the defendant. Otherwise, it will amount to a lack of fair hearing by the court. And that was the point I was trying to make to the judge when you know he became angry and began to threaten uh, to commit me for doing my work as a lawyer and of course you heard him call me some names etc but i'm not deterred i have a job to do and i always do my job effectively and efficiently was it not the same application that was dismissed by justice adamola on friday by the federal high court no what is the difference then yes there was, I did not appear, there was no application filed before Justice Ademola. No, uh, uh, Kafarati, there was dismissed. Okay, Kafarati. now, if any of you had been in court, uh, in Kafarati's court, when he delivered his judgment, yeah. you will have heard him say that his own opinion, his, his judgment, was that the matter was better brought up before the tribunal here. And that is the reason why he felt it was an abuse of process in his court. Because he said, there are constitutional safeguards that this tribunal is meant to uphold and that if it is brought before the tribunal as other applications have been brought before this tribunal it will be handled now we have taken the hint from that judgment on friday by filing an application before the tribunal today asking them to uphold those constitutional safeguards this application is about upholding constitutional safeguards that will enable justice to be arrived at. One, what, what one wonders about is whether the object of this trial is justice. If the object of the trial is justice, then an application of this nature should not excite any belligerence whatsoever. That is my position. Okay, sir. But the chairman, the chairman said at the time you filed the application, you are not a member of the defense council. Yeah. Well, as you, as, yes, that makes you a medicine interloper. Well, as you know, as you know, as you must know. Yes, sir. Every Nigerian, including your good selves, are entitled to employ as many lawyers as you want yeah. to defend yourself in, in, a, in any matter, whether civil or criminal. Yeah. And not all those lawyers yeah. will appear in a particular court at the same time. Yes. Even as we speak now, there are other lawyers in this team yeah. who are not appearing before this tribunal, who are, who are working behind the scenes with the other counsel in preparing processes, in uh, looking through and sifting through the records, helping to prepare ag um, questions for cross-examination and so on. So for anyone to sit in his, the comfort of his home yes. and determine who is a member of the team of a defendant or not, is not allowed by law. Only the defendant yes. can determine who is a member of his team or not. He emphasized you are not listed as a Tuesday that it was filed. What do you intend to do? Guys, don't tell us what to do. As a council today, I mean, and you filed that case only yesterday. If you need a lead council, 
refused to accept it from the beginning because he didn't know about it. Full. It was later that he was, was kind of uh, intimated. intimated intimated to collect it. So what would you say about that? Well, I'm, I'm sure you misheard him because he could not deny the knowledge of that application and at the same time announce me as a member of his team and that's not what he said what he said was that when the council was asking him whether he had seen the filed copy the filed copy of the application as at that time when that council was asking him he had not seen the filed copy for your information it was the lead council himself who advised that this application should be filed Pending. You heard um, the prosecution, prosecution counsel, he didn't say so. The prosecution counsel says he's going to file a counter affidavit. You saw the judge handing over a letter to the prosecution counsel in open court. I have not read that letter, but I assume it must be the letter that has been flying around uh, the media but he's been exonerated yesterday after I filed my application. Yeah. So if they have a letter that exonerates him after I filed my application, they have to bring it formally before the court by an affidavit. The, the, the chairman cannot just tender the, the document from, from the bench. If you hand it over to the prosecution counsel, and the prosecution counsel can include it with the affidavit which he has promised he's going to file. What, the reason why that motion was not heard today is because the prosecution say they are going to file a counter affidavit and other processes so that the, mo the motion will be ripe for hearing. When the motion is ripe for hearing on Monday, then we will know what the attitude of the judge will be to it, what the attitude of the court will be to it.